All right, once again, lineage, what's going on? All right, so here we got, it says, a man of estate, good sense and education. Alexander Hamilton, physician and writer, describing Francis William in 1744. Now pay attention to the date, 1744, right? Now this is the gentleman right here, okay? This is um, Francis William. Now, once again, I tell people when you study history, you have to study history from what's called a conductive reasoning perspective. What does that mean? It means that his story is not going to tell you the entire truth. Now, if slavery was supposedly um, abolished in the late 1800s, how is that a man of color in 1744 was such a brain coming from Jamaica? So you see, we will lie to. But anyway, let's read, right? It says, Francis William, scholar of Jamaica, right? Scholar of Jamaica, about 1745, right? All right, so this is, is his portrait and all that, but let's take a walk around the room and see all of his accomplishment. The man was a scholar, right? Well, uh, uh, you know, I mean, literally a genius, all right? So let's go back, here. Let's go back over here, all right? That's him, him right here, it says, seeing the invisible scientific imaging, the portrait of, France, of Francis William has been sparked many questions about why it may have been painted by whom and for and for whom, whether in Britain or Jamaica, in 2022, um, prompted by a group of um, academic experts from Britain and the United States researching Francis William life and British Caribbean history, the VNA, um, which is the museum I'm in right now, residents, scientists, etc., etc. Okay, through the scientific imaging, we can see elements of painting that are invisible to the naked eye. Here we explore a few of the results. Right, so we have all this is of the man's, you know, boom, right? Okay. But my thing is this, like I said, man, <laughs> you know, it is just funny that we are being told all the stories and we don't question anything, all right? We don't question anything. But this man was a scholar and ask yourself this question once more let's read this here it says between two worlds right two portraits we already read that jamaican francis william and van lee burke we already read that in this room we examined the jamaican scholar a jamaican scholar and writer francis william and explore the questions raised about Baba. Ba. born in jamaica in 1690 william is a complex figure all right no no mind you we going all the way back to 1690 right now let's 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 pay attention to this my brothers and sisters in 1690 slaves were not coming from africa the slave trade from africa did not start yet so who is this so-called black man in jamaica explain that to me please okay because 1690 let me see let me see when did i don't think slaves started coming into jamaica around that time right but anyway we're talking about 1690 a slave a man that's supposed to be on a plantation but how is that this man is such a scholar but he was a slave it just doesn't make sense either way whether you say slaves came in or not you know i may have to digress on making that statement i'm going to look into that but the point i'm making is this right slavery did not exist until the 18 the late 17 1800s it was legal before that it was indentured servantry right but anyway william is a complex figure he has a free rich black man who fought against proposed restrictions on the rights of free black people now who are these free black people in 1690 in the in the 1700s when it was supposed to be slavery that's going on are we talking about american aborigines are we talking about the people that they call the maroons making you think they're africans like i told y'all man y'all better recognize go look at the etymology of maroon maroon has nothing to do with african go look at the etymology of maroon yet they continue to keep enslaved laborers on the estate he inherited from the from his father now let me ask you a question once again it says yet Right. Yet he continued to keep enslaved laborers on the estate he inherited from his father. Hold up. His father had an estate, huh? Who was himself formerly enslaved. No, hold up. 1690, his father, his father had an estate who was formerly enslaved. But let's go back to his father's age. So we're literally talking about the early 1600s. But yet still his father was formerly enslaved. So was his father a prisoner of war? 
meaning that he was indigenous to Jamaica, but he became enslaved on his own land. My brothers and sisters, man, we got to ask questions, man. Ain't nobody fooling me with that nonsense. All right. Nobody fool me with this nonsense. I got questions. Period. Period. All right. Anyway, man. Um, this is a map of Jamaica. I'm um, published in 1755. All right. Right here. Boom. Hanover. Remember, Hanover is also, you have the Hanover House, okay, in Britain, okay? All these places are literally named after places in Britain, all right? Westmoreland, St. James, St. Anne's, Clarendon, St. Elizabeth. So all these people that went to Jamaica, St. George's, they were people of color, okay, who colonized Jamaica. You have Spanish town right there. Of course, when Spain owned that, and then the British took over, all right? Anyway, I'm out. Peace.